Right, guys, so today we're talking about swimming in. Now, um, a lot of the times what you'll see on the streets is this type of shit, right? But we always do ourselves a disservice when we're training because we train like this. We train like we're going to be fighting some freaking amateur on the street. There's a lot of amateurs on the street, but there's a lot of guys like Mike who train gutter fighting who are not amateurs on the street. Those guys are going to punch you like this, and they're going to mean to hurt you, right? So we need a viable option to do with straight punches and not just these BS ghetto looping punches. Straight punches are a hell of a thing to deal with. Luckily, I've got a solution for you. It's called swimming or crashing through the guard. Now, I'm going to show you crashing through the guard first because it's way easier than swimming, okay? But we'll show you how to swim afterwards. Now, crashing through the guard looks like this. I'm literally just gluing my fist to the top of my forehead, and I'm putting my elbows together. And then I'm simply walking and rushing into him and getting inside his punching range. Mike? start punching at me. I'm gluing my hands to my head and I'm walking inside his punching range. What I ideally want to end up with is my elbows right on his chest, either on his chest or into the rib cage. It's not a strike. All right? Don't get too excited. It's not a strike, but it is a good waypoint. It is a good way to mark your progress from here into here. And when you're done, I want your elbows touching either his ribs or his chest, right? Um, and it should hurt. When you do it properly, it should, he should feel it, all right? That's crashing through. Mike, start throwing those one-twos. I'm literally crashing through. I'm expecting to get hit. I will be getting hit in the forehead. I will be getting hit. But it's better, go ahead, to get hit out here and crash through than, go ahead, get hit out here and just like, stand there like an idiot. I need to get inside that punching range and if I've got myself protected here, I can either come here with fists or I can come here with a little bit more protection if I don't get mine getting hit in the top of the hands. And this way, I've got even more protection. Now, don't do this. I can't see. No. You want to see, and where you want to be looking is the center of his chest. From the center of his chest, I can see what his hands are doing. I can see what his feet are doing. I can see if he wants to pull out a weapon on me. That's why we always look in the center of the chest. You know, guys will tell you, like old school guys will tell you, look at his eyes, try to intimidate him. You can look at my eyes all you want. I don't swing that way, and I'm not intimidated. I want to look in the fucking center of his chest to see where his hands are, all right? So the second option that we're going to be doing is called swimming in. Swimming in. Swimming in looks like this. Mike, go ahead. And we call it swimming in because it looks like I'm swimming. That's literally what we're doing here. Mike, go ahead. I'm literally like swimming in. All right. One more time. Swimming in. Okay. And then my goal is to get on the inside of him and tie it up into a grapple. That is swimming in. Now, on the next video, I'm going to be discussing what to do after we've either crashed or swam through his guard. But a little bit more, a little bit of a bonus here for you. I want to warn you against swimming in. Okay. Mike, what I want you to do is I'm going to swim in, but I want you to crack me on the jaw. Don't actually hurt me. If I got knocked out on my own video, it'd be embarrassing. But I'm going to swim in, and I want you to try to hit my jaw. Right? Boom. And I got cracked on the jaw. Now, with a guy Mike's size, if he's really swinging for me, um, there's a very good chance I'm going to get knocked out. I'm going to go on the ground, on the hard pavement, in the street. Maybe his friends are around. Boot party. All right, for those of you guys who ever listen to, like, oi, boot party is not a good thing. It's not a fun party. It's a very bad party. Always avoid going to the ground in a freaking street fight, guys. Trust me. I've been there. It's not fun. All right, Mike, one more time. We're going to swim in. And the risk is that throw this right in my chin. The risk is that. But if we crash in, go ahead. It's a lot better. And I'm a lot more protected while I'm doing it. So that's my advice for you is try to crash rather than swim. But there is a time and a place for everything. There is a season. I don't know if you ever heard that song. But if you haven't, now you have my rendition of it. And my advice to you is crash rather than swim. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. And we're going to go and we're going to leave this stuff. I'm sorry. We're not leaving anything. We're taking this stuff. And we're going to bring it to the next level. And we're going to show you how to really hurt some people. Although, don't ever hurt anybody and say, I didn't tell you to do that. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. See you.